Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for today's video because it is going to be all about organizing and refreshing your closet for the fall season. I cannot believe fall is right around the corner and now is the perfect time to start transitioning your wardrobe and kind of cleaning out your closet from the spring and summer months and transitioning it into fall and winter mode. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a bunch of tips to clean out your closet, help you make decisions on what you should and shouldn't keep. I personally am doing a major closet clean out. I have been wanting to do like a little refresh even with the decor. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys along that process today um, on what I'm personally gonna do. And if you're new here to my channel, my name is Karen and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So definitely consider hitting subscribe below you could even hit that little notification bell and then that way you'll be notified right away when I upload a brand new video also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you want to see a closet tour definitely hit that like button below and I will do an updated closet tour if you guys want to see like how I transform my closet because I'm going to kind of be reorganizing everything and I'll show you guys the finished product so now I'm going to go through all of my tips and tricks the first thing is to make sure you map out some time on your schedule to allow to clean out your actual closet because it could take quite some time. It's not something that's gonna only be a 15 minute process. So I would say try to find a time in your schedule, whether it's on the weekend. The reason why this is important is if you don't map out the time, sometimes you only get halfway through and you realize I'm out of time and like I left a big mess and a big pile of clothes all over the place and then like stuck with it for some time. It's better to just like personally for me at least, get it all almost done. That's just my tip because nothing worse than like starting a project realizing, okay, now I'm, I don't have the time on my schedule to finish it and now I'm left with a huge mess and then you just feel really disorganized and more discouraged and then it's harder to get back into the groove of it. So I personally find that scheduling out time and making sure you have that um, good amount of time, I just think a few hours in your schedule just to like reset your whole closet, especially when it's like a major season change. My second tip, because I know organization could be very tedious and it feels like it could take forever, is either to make up a music playlist for yourself to make it more enjoyable, or you could do what I've been doing and listen to an audiobook. I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have been loving Audible and an audiobook is like the perfect thing to listen to when you organize your closet because it just passes by the time. It takes a few hours and in that time you could almost finish an entire book and listen to a book. So you could listen to like self-help books, business books. Um, they have different like best-selling books. They literally have so many great titles. I personally have been listening to The Secret and that's what I'm gonna be listening to when I clean out the rest of my closet and finish up The Secret. And I highly recommend that one. I've listened to Rachel Hollis on Audible. There are so many great titles. So you could start listening to Audible with a 30 day free trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. So you could visit audible.com slash lace and lashes or you could text lace and lashes to 500 500 and that again will give you your first month free with one audiobook plus two Audible originals which is amazing. Um, so yes, I highly, highly recommend it. I listen to it in the car. I listen to it just like if I'm waiting for an appointment. I think it's just such a great way to pass by the time and cleaning your closet is a very long task. So I feel like listening to an audiobook is such a great idea and you could like improve yourself at the same time as improving your closet. So I think it's like a win-win. So again, you could feel free to go to audible.com slash lace and lashes or you could text lace and lashes to 500 500 to receive your 30 day free trial. You get an audiobook for free plus two Audible originals. So I will have all the information linked below for you guys. Okay, now that we have our time carved out of our schedule and you have your like, playlist going or your audible book going, now is the perfect time to start by category in your closet. What I recommend doing, if you're gonna especially do it in two days, is only go by kind of category to start. So whether it's one section of your closet, whether it's just going through your cardigans, sweaters, and tops, um, that's a great way to start. So you're not like just pulling everything apart and then you just like, you're so overwhelmed. So what I recommend doing is starting in one section of the closet, whether it's your sweaters, cardigans, your tank tops, your t-shirts, whatever it may be, um, start out in section by section, take it all out of the closet and then go through each piece. If you haven't worn it in over a year, it's probably time to donate it or sell it. If the clothing is starting to look pilled, I recommend um, you know, taking that out of your closet and replacing it with a you know newer item, which is my next tip is to keep a running list 
of like your must haves, especially for fall. So you have like your cardigans, take kind of inventory of everything that you need. So um, if in case you need say a neutral sweater, I'm kind of lacking in that department or um, you know, my t-shirts, I tried them on and they just didn't fit right. My next tip, and I know this could be, this is why it could be a little tedious, but it's to try everything on. Because if you haven't worn it, cause if you're kind of going through things from last fall, you know, it may not fit the same or you may just not like the style anymore. So I recommend, especially jeans, try it all on, take that time. Um, that little bit of extra time really does like, cause why have a pair of jeans sitting in your drawer if they're just gonna like not fit right? So then you know like, oh, I need to go out and buy it this pair of jeans because they didn't fit right there too big or too small. So um, I recommend going through and trying everything on as well. So the categories I like to go through are like my clothing, my shoes, my handbags, my jewelry, and like random accessories like belts. Um, I'm kind of like looking over at my closet here. So I have a lot of those different categories. So the first, you know, hour I might try to work on just clothing alone. Next, um, half, like in the next half hour, I might try on all my shoes and like kind of go through that. If any of them look really worn out, then I'm gonna get them out of my closet. Um, so basically you just have to go through each category, handbags, um, and just, you know, say, does this really bring me joy? So if and if it doesn't, then it's time to get rid of it. So for me, one thing that I know that I have to go through a lot of is my jewelry. It's just becoming so overwhelming. I'll show you guys a little video of my jewelry drawers. Like it is just overwhelming. And I bought like organizational bids, which I'm gonna get to in a second, but I have to go through all that and see like if I haven't worn these earrings in over a year, it's probably time to get rid of them because I'm probably not gonna reach for them anytime soon. Once you kind of went through everything in your closet, you sifted through, you sorted out in your donate pile, your um, garbage pile, your sell pile, and then your keep pile. So once you have all your keep piles, I recommend putting things back in a organized way. You have to see what works best for you, but personally for me, if you're looking for some new ideas, I like doing like tank tops, camis, and then t-shirts, tops, and then like sh like short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, and then so on and so on. So I like to fold most of my sweaters, but um, as far as hanging things, I like to color code. I just think it looks super pretty when you like open your closet and it's like all color coordinated. Sometimes it doesn't always stay that way but I do try to, you know, keep it that way. And it just looks so aesthetically pleasing. I feel like if I'm looking for something specific, I could quickly find it. So I do recommend color coding your clothes as well. Another tip, if you struggle with not wearing all your pieces in your wardrobe, you could flip your hangers backward. And then as you wear them, flip them the other way. And then you could see in like say a month or two, how much of it you really wear. And then it really stands out at the pieces that you're not reaching for all the time. And then those are the pieces at the end of the season, again, to maybe reevaluate and say, I haven't worn this all season. I know I didn't because the hangers flipped this way and it's time to donate it. So I think that's another great tip. Next tip is to really switch out your spring and summer wardrobe to your fall and winter. So what that means is say, if you have rows of shoes, say for example, with shoes, like put your summer like flip flops and then your slides, sadly put them to the back. I mean, for me, I love spring and summer, but I do love fall fashion. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. So I'm really excited about the fall fashion. So bring all your boots to the front and pull all those summer sandals to the back, bring out those sweaters, kind of switch everything out and then put away these summer things in the back, like where you can't reach. Also, this next tip kind of goes along with the last one. It is utilizing under the bed space. So if you actually have like um, limited closet space, what I recommend doing is taking your summer like shorts, like your denim shorts, your summer tops, anything like that, put it under the bed. I personally have an under the bed storage box and it saves me so much space. I get to utilize all that like on like used space. So I'll put a lot of seasonal items under my bed that I don't, obviously I'm not gonna reach for when it's freezing cold that like I'm not gonna reach for my denim shorts. I recommend getting an under the bed storage box. You can find them at like Walmart, Target, any kind of like home organization store. Um, that's a really great way to really maximize on your space. And my last tip, and then I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of my closet and share with you guys like what I wanna fix up and kind of like the before. And that is to utilize organizational bins and storage boxes, anything like that. Really take note of like your space and kind of like compartmentalize everything. So for the jewelry, as I said, I bought um, for my earrings so I could like see everything instead of piling them all on top of each other. I bought these like dividers so I could see each individual pair of earrings, which is amazing. And I can't wait to divide this all up and like organize it, which you're gonna see the finished results very soon on my channel if you guys want 
want to see it. So um, yes, anyway, so I found those on like Amazon. Amazon has like a lot of great things. I know the Container Store has a lot of great things. Target, um, there's just so many great places. Jewelry organizers, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, lots of great places like that um, for organization. So Pottery Barn makes really great bins that I got for my closet. They're blush and they have a ton of other colors, but that's great for just miscellaneous things. You could put clothing in. They have so many different sizes. So I will link some of my favorite storage bins below in case you guys are interested in like kind of, um, you know, storing some things away or organizing things better. Cause I feel like when you just have a big pile of things, it's better to just like, you know, divide it up and you know exactly where it is. Everything personally for me, and I think it needs a home. So everything needs to have a home and it needs to have its own little, like say for the earrings, it needs to have its own little section. So that way you see everything because when you don't see everything, you don't get use out of it. Okay. So now what my vision is for this closet is just to make it more organized because I feel like over time I've accumulated quite a bit of shoes. I mean, it's part of my job to like share with you guys lots of product and I do get sent some pieces as well. So I do have um, quite the shoe collection. So I want to pare down my shoe collection and I have to take inventory of what I need. Um, I do want to kind of go over um, this like main section of clothes. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an overview of my closet. Of This is like the before and it needs a lot of organization um, and just like a decor update. So I'm going to kind of go through everything of what I'm going to do. So um, this desk I'm going to get rid of and I actually already have something ordered and it's on the way. Actually, one piece is already here but I'm just waiting on the other part. So I am really excited about this section here and this is gonna be totally different. Um, so I'll have to show you guys that when I complete the entire closet, like a full on closet tour. Um, and then over here, I think I might move this out of the way because I just can't like access it. A lot of this is like my PR stuff, which has to be gone through as well. Um, and then this rack here is like all of my newer pieces um, or like pieces like I'm absolutely loving. So I, I'm gonna probably put this garment rack, maybe I'll keep this here i'll have to see um and then just kind of go through these shoes i'll have to switch these out um being that these are my summery sandals that is like one of my monogram bags and then over here so this is my ikea pack system you can see i think i'm gonna get rid of these boxes up top i don't know i just don't know if it looks a little cluttery and then these bins i have to go through as i was saying organizational bins are key everything has a place so you could even do like swimsuits in one um like dust bags for handbags in another like all different kinds of things in the bins and that way you know exactly and you can label them so that's like what's super helpful and then down here i really have to go through these it's been in quite some time actually i always forget to like go through this section okay now this drawer is gonna be a major project because i just need to like reorganize i as i said i mentioned the earrings they are way too disorganized and I need to like go through them, see which ones I'm going to give away and then like, you know, organize the ones that I'm going to keep. And I got organizational bins for that, like little trays. These I have to go through all these dust bags. Oh my gosh, this is such a mess. Um, more earrings. So this is earrings, earrings, more and more there. Bracelets. Again, I can't see what I have. It's like hard to like, you know, know exactly what you have there. Watches are pretty decent. I just have to fix that up. Um, then my belts. I want to maybe like move the belts being that this may take up more space since I'm going to like spread it apart. I may move the belts and I might want to put like a little tray here or something, a pull out tray, like kind of like this um, and put belts under there or something. I don't know. I have to maybe go to Ikea and see because um, again, I want everything to have a home because I got this recently and this like doesn't have a space really in here so we'll see and then maybe with the sunglasses again i have to go through all these because quite the collection happening so gonna go through those and again there's like they make little um organizers for um sunglasses so i'll link those below in case you're interested in a sunglasses organizer so i'll have all the organizational bins linked below so that's gonna be a major project this is pretty much all of like my denim shorts and then i have like regular denim here too um i do recommend folding everything kind of like this like upright so you can see everything here's like soft shorts and different things like that um so yeah i have to just like try on like these jeans because it's been some time since i've tried this stuff on um so i'm gonna do that and then this is my sweater drawer it's been a while since i've opened this because it's been since last fall so again i'm gonna kind of go through everything make sure everything looks in good condition and then 
I am going to go through this bin. This is all like, as you can see, I color coordinate the drawers all my colored ones and then this is just like all neutrals and then shoes is going to be a major project for me i have quite the shoe collection as you can see these are trickling down over here so i need to go through the shoes try them on i need to like just see if i haven't been really wearing any all this is like pretty much like summer here these shoes are all summer this is all summer and i'd like to bring out the fall booties and put them in the main section here that way because they're like that's where I reach the most um and this is a lot of fall here I have like my over the knee boots in the back again like I don't want to have to dig in the back so I have to go through all that and bring all the fall stuff forward um and then maybe go through these sweater stacks I don't know what I'm going to do I might take those away we'll have to see and then all these drawers have to be gone through um so yeah I'm kind of going through everything else I have to do and then um purses that's another thing i kind of want to reorganize and they just kind of look like they're thrown on the shelf because you guys can't see back there but like look at that <laughs> i need to like go through i think i might sell this kate spade bag just because i haven't really reached for it recently so i think i might sell that one so that's that section that's here and then i pretty much in my like bedroom closet i i've just recently redid that entire closet so that does not have to be done so this is like the main section like my actual clothing closets are pretty good but it's just like for me personally this is like my closet that i'm focusing on so i can't wait to share with you guys how the finished result of the decor and how i organize everything um i cannot wait to actually do this project this is gonna take me quite some time but it's gonna be worth it and i will feel a lot more organized um so i'm gonna share with you guys the finished result on how everything will be so definitely subscribe so you stay tuned for my closet tour yes that's gonna be a lot of fun and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave any other tips and tricks that way I could read them. Anyone else can read them in the comment section below. I think it'd be a lot of fun and like more like a community. We could all like chat below about organization um, for your fall wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to hit subscribe on the way out and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye. I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close?